Listen, I don't mean to keep talking about Jojo Siwa, but things keep happening that require me to talk about them, so I'm going to do it. <laughs> Most prominently is that Jojo is now being accused of stealing one of her songs from her upcoming album, which is just not a good look. But also, since I posted my last video on Jojo and why I think her rebrand is not going to work and how I think it could have been done a little bit better, her song Karma came out in full along with the music video. And I watched that. Uh, the song, I mean, we kind of heard the song already. We knew what it was going to sound like. It did have a couple of moments in it that I thought were nice enough. Still not my style of music, but you know, it's not like it's a terrible song. The music video is... It's a music video. I didn't like it, but I don't think I'm the target audience. It's fine. The choreography is good, clearly, because she is a dancer. She is good at dancing. And it also has this in it. Oh my God, what is that? Oh my God, what is that? I mean, it's not the lesbian representation that I wanted, but it is the lesbian representation that we're getting. So I guess I just have to deal with that. You know, it's fine. Jojo really wanted this to be like a big shocking, oh my God, nobody's ever done anything this shocking kind of thing. No one has made this dramatic of a change yet. No one has made, in my generation, this extreme of a switch. And I am the first in the generation. It is very scary, but someone's gotta do it. But it's just not shocking to me. And she even said in a TikTok, something along the lines of, people don't know why I put the, this is not child friendly warning, but I know. And I will agree, her music video is not child friendly, clearly, but it's not that shocking to me. And this is where I need your input, please. <laughs> Let me know in the comments, did you find this shocking? Because I don't know if like my brain is just fried from growing up on 2000s internet because if you know 2000s internet, you know what was on there. It, that does something to, <laughs> to your brain. And also like growing up watching Marilyn Manson music videos, which are their own thing and stuff like that. So I don't find things shocking. Although me personally, I lack the emotions of shock, a sense of achievement and excitement. But that just might mean that there's something wrong with me. <laughs> Maybe that's a conversation for a professional, not for you guys. So no, I did not find this shocking at all. It just seemed like a normal music video, but you know, go off. But anyway, like I said, Jojo has also been accused since her video came out of stealing one of the songs that isn't released yet from her upcoming album from a smaller artist. So Spill Sesh posted this on TikTok and I don't know if this is the original video or if it came from somewhere else. I just saw it from Spill Sesh. And in it, Jojo says this. This song, I want you to listen for a very special ad lib. Cause it is about one of my exes. And I will sure as hell point it out when that ad lib comes. Don't you worry. This next song is called Choose Your Fighter. Now I'm gonna have to play stuff and talk over it because this song will eventually come out and I don't want to be copyright claimed, so this needs to be fair use and I need to be reacting to it. So here's me reacting to it. And I will have to talk over this. Uh, sorry about that. It's all great. That's wonderful. <laughs> I'm not a reaction channel. Sorry about that. <laughs> this is me talking over this. <laughs> and then people pointed out that this is another song from somebody else, which is going to be playing right now. This is me talking about this song and reacting to it. Obviously leaving some moments of silence so that you can actually listen to it. <laughs> I will, by the way, put both of these TikToks in the description, so if you want to listen to them without my yapping, which I assume you will, you can do that. It's great. It's a good song. I actually like this song. <laughs> so what happened here is that what it looks like is that this artist sold this song 
and then it ended up with Jojo Siwa, which is not unusual. Songs get written and sold all the time. I'm pretty sure Rare by Selena Gomez was written by Charlie XCX, just as one example, but there's like millions of examples, right? This is not uncommon. And the artist actually confirms this. She said, hey, 2024 fans, I'm gonna make a story time soon. I actually didn't sign off on it coming out with Jojo, not her fault. If my version gets love, I can still put it out after hers. Thanks for the support. So it may have been a case that she was supposed to get to approve who got this song, but I'm not sure if that's the case. As far as my understanding goes, that's not the norm. Once you sell it, it's just whoever gets it, gets it. But this might not have been the case here. We'll just have to wait for her story time. But as of me recording this right now, the story time is not out. So we don't really know. But what she does point out is that it's not Jojo's fault what's happened here. And if Jojo did buy the rights to the song, then it is fine. She's not actually doing anything wrong here. She's well within her rights to do that. Not every artist writes all their songs. But what I will point out is that in the clip, of Jojo that Spill Sesh posted, it doesn't sound like Jojo's voice. It sounds like the original singer. And I'm very confused by that. I don't know if Jojo's voice is like so heavily processed or if she's just layered the other artist's voice, but it's just like louder so you can only hear that, which does happen. Just the name Jennifer Lopez comes to mind for absolutely no reason whatsoever actually when I said that but it just really at least in this one clip and we've yet to hear the full version of it it sounds like Jojo's not singing it at all that it's just this original artist and I would love to be able to hear a clip of this so we can actually tell if it's just the original but I, it's just part of my brain's going that can't be the case it may just be the case that she's just playing the demo for this group of people but why would she do that <laughs> Is this the norm to play demos to people be like, this is my song about my ex, but I'm not singing. But the one thing that kind of disproves this is the fact that there's an addition of uh, when she says, some of my exes have fame, you're welcome. That's not present in the original. Unless this is a separate demo that she got. So I'm not sure what's happening here. All I can hope is that when the full version comes out, that she's clearly singing, that her voice is present because she did sing Karma. She definitely sang Karma. That was her voice, unless somehow it was just somebody doing a really fantastic Jojo Siwa impression, but it was her voice. So why wouldn't she sing the other songs? It just wouldn't make sense. I do actually like the song. If you like it, you can go support the original artist on TikTok. You can like her stuff, engage with it, and then hopefully she'll get to release it as well. But as far as Jojo's concerned, it doesn't look like she actually did anything wrong here. Like buying songs is very common. Artists do it all the time. Some of the biggest artists in the world. It's not like it's a secret. It is just what happens. And the whole thing with it potentially not being her voice or her voice layered with the original artists. As far as my understanding goes, that is not illegal, but it does seem like a crappy thing to do. So I really hope that that is not the case, that she does actually sing this full thing. But that was pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. I did think about doing like a reaction to Jojo's video, like a live reaction before I actually watched it myself, but I didn't want the copyright claim, so I didn't do it. <laughs> I hope you guys don't mind that this was a shorter one today. Um, I actually recorded this video already, but I didn't press record on my camera. Professional YouTuber guys. Also like I have an absolutely whopper migraine coming on. So I just need to get out of here and out of these lights as soon as possible. And then I still have to edit this. So yay for me, <laughs> not to complain. I actually did want to talk about this today. But if you know, if you feel so inclined, you can subscribe, that would make me feel a whole lot better. It won't cure my migraine, but it'll make me feel emotionally well. <laughs> like, comment, share. Let me know in the comments what you thought about all of this. And also, like I said, let me know if you found the music video shocking or not. Subscribe, it really helps me out if you do that. Check out the Patreon and the merch. And don't forget to pre-save Spaceships out on April 12th. And also while you're at it, you can check out my remix of Karma by Jojo Siwa. Everything's in the description. Everything you want is in the description. Have an absolutely wonderful day and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Sweet.